वन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज पार्ट सेवन ऑफ डायलेक्ट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सॉलिड ओके द प्रीवियस पार्ट लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन वॉच फ्रॉम हेयर इन दिस वीडियो वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डी वाई कोले कोले डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन टाइम एंड डायलेक्ट्रिक मॉडिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस इज द सिलेबस ऑफ एम एस सी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कलकत्ता थर्ड सेमिस्टार प्रिवियस लेक्चर कवर दिस पार्ट in this discuss we want to cover up this portion distribution and dielectric medium this portion we want to cover up in this video okay so let's start from the previous lecture you know the dielectric constant have two parts the real and this imaginary part this uh, this is the dy relation which already have derived in the previous lecture that is the previous part you can uh, watch for the derivation of this equation from one you can rearrange this this is in the left hand side uh, we will get this equation and just divide it into that form you get and from equation 2 if you uh, uh, take this in lord's part in left hand side you will get these two equation square and adding if you this to square and adding you will get the right hand side like that and left hand side like that you just calculate this equation and use the equation 3 here and eliminating you will get the equation and just follow up these steps okay just follow up this step you can easily get this equation like that this is a equation of a of a of a circle with radius this and center will be that so this gives you a circular representation of this between to the real part of epsilon and the imaginary part of the epsilon these two equation are the give you this semicircle so for, if you got the semicircular uh, curve between real part and imaginary part of dielectric constant you can get uh, say the, this is the dy type relaxation if you want to say about the another type of relaxation like uh, take the same equation and just rearrange in the another form you will be get the equa equation of straight line this is the equation of straight line intersecting step line and this is the cutting and if you wants to rearrange them in another form this same equation if rearrange this another form uh, you will get the another straight line like that so you get straight line like that this is straight line like that so you can say here the this function can be taken as the different form right so in general you can see so there is non dy relaxation type or, or can be possible so in general if you take this function generalized function and this is the generalized function actually uh, write down here also so for dy dy this alpha and beta will be 1 1 for follicular relaxation this is not 1 beta equals to 1 mm, and there is another relaxation that is called division relaxation for that so there is a possibility to another <coughs> type of relaxation if you compare the dy and the cole cole so you can see here this cole cole uh, will be deform from the dy the center of semicircle depressed below the here the center will be here but here for for uh, cole cole the center will be here okay this is the basic difference and if you dielectric relaxation may be complex system can be expressed by the uh, Kohler's William Watts KWW stretch expression of the deviation deviation from the classical exponential dy plateau. Uh, there is a deviation from the dy relaxation, and this is the uh, dielectric modulus. Dielectric modulus is the electric along the mechanical modulus is known as the dielectric modulus, and this dielectric modulus expression is one by the, the inverse reciprocal of the dielectric constant and just calculate the phenomena you will get the expression of this real part and the imaginary part of the dielectric this is the real part and this is the complex part or imaginary part imaginary part okay and if you wants to find out the function type frequency difference in frequency you will get this data for dielectric function loss peak and the modulus peak okay 
now comes into the dialectic modular analysis here written here for relax divide relaxation this type of happen for a general kww function this is the summation of this and total summation of this coefficient will be one um, so selected such that this becomes one okay so you can just go throughout this reading this is the analysis of the this now comes into the impedance spectroscopy from where we can measure the dialectic constant dialectic cons uh, sorry relaxation time can be often and the uh, uh, nature of the dialectic can be often from the impedance spectroscopy now consider a electric field and the corresponding voltage will be that and the voltage is phase angle lead by theta so today so impedance will be like that and if you <laughs> sorry <coughs> impedance can be written as here this impedance is uh, can be parallel combination of a capacitor and a uh, resistor okay so if you plot this graph it will give you a circular graph and the log z versus omega graph like that and the phi versus omega graph will be like that okay this is a nice squeezed plot and impedance vector <laughs> sorry okay if you uh, discuss about the detail discuss this plot a semicircle and impedance of the several semicircle effect of the grain uh, grain boundary combination or the presence of the several relaxation species there are many types uh, suppose there is a uh, in, internal resistance the curve will be deformed from the zero to here uh, this is the equivalent circuit uh, and the corresponding <laughs> z versus phi graph will be like that the here the graph was uh, steep straight line steeper but here this is a smoother curve for that and if you take uh, the two type they are the combination of these two and uh, three types that is the this contribution from grain contribution this is the grain boundary contribution and the electro ceramic interface contribution for that you will be get this type of spectrum so so from here you will get this omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 and the corresponding tau the relaxation time also we get it. so the relaxation time can be calculated from this lcr meter or the impedance analyzer and this is the sample where the rrcr series the graph will be like that okay so if you take in the ac conductivity concept uh, this can be written here there there is a conductivity depend on the dialectic constant <coughs> sorry huh, yes uh, so dialectic constant is a complex so conductivity also a complex and this can be <laughs> intimate calculated from the fitting of the experimental data the n will be calculated and then this is the dc part and the ac part the ac part is the depend on the frequency <coughs> angular frequency so the conductivity part also depend on this frequency of this dielectric material like that okay and this can be calculated from the lcr meter or the impedance analyzer from where we get the conductivity and fitting the experimental data you will get the value of this n right so that's it for any query you must contact with my contact number whatsapp contact number okay so thank you